guys, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be moving on to example 4c in chapter 11.2 of trigonometry. Okay, so in this example, before we try to uh, solve this uh, question over here, what we're going to do is to recap that pi radians is 180 degrees. Okay, so if you look over here, pi radians is 180 degrees. Okay, so if we are given 7 over 4 pi, okay, this is the same as writing 1 and 3 quarters pi, okay? So recall that 2 pi is 360, okay? And uh, pi is 180 degrees, okay? So what does this mean? Okay, pi, sorry, radians, yeah? 2 pi radians and pi radians. Okay, so what does this, this mean? So if we are trying to locate theta equals to 7 over 4 pi, okay? On our x, y, Cartesian plane, what we will do is to move in an anti-clockwise direction from this point. So if I move in an anti-clockwise direction, up to this point, that will be pi, okay, because 180 degrees is pi. Okay, if I continue moving on all the way to here, somewhere over here, this will be my theta, okay, where theta is equals to 7 and 7 over 4 pi, okay, so this is my theta. Okay, so from here, I will draw my right angled triangle okay and i will identify my alpha using a red colored pen over here so this is my alpha and since theta is and since theta is uh, seven quarters pi then alpha should be equals to two pi minus seven quarters pi okay which just give me one quarter pi okay so alpha is one quarter pi Okay, now take note that we are into the cosine, we are into the cosine quadrant, okay? So this means that the cosine, only the cosine of theta is positive, okay? So since the question asks for the sine of theta, where theta is defined to be 7 over 4 pi, then we can sort of deduce that this answer, okay, this answer will definitely be a negative answer, okay? So... With all this information, how do we carry on to solve the question? Okay, so take note that, okay, we will make use of the table you see on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Okay, so since 45 degrees, okay, is equals to pi over 4, okay, let me just uh, highlight this over here. So we're looking for sine of L, sine of theta, sine of 45 degrees, okay, which is root 2 over 2, okay, over here, root 2 over 2, okay, so this means that the sine of alpha, okay, the sine of alpha is root 2 over 2, okay, so since alpha is pi over 4, okay, and sine of alpha is opposite, okay, so this is my opposite over my hypotenuse, okay, this is my sine of alpha and just take note also that over here this length should be negative root 2 okay because we are moving downwards along the y-axis okay we're moving downwards okay so therefore the sine of theta is just simply negative of root 2 over 2 okay 